Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Mizuki Arts. Today we are doing a sketchbook tour. It's been a little while since I filmed one of these, so I'm quite excited. Um, and there are like, I think six other sketchbook tours up on my channel. So if you wanna go check those out, um, there's a little playlist. I might add it to the description box or the iCard if I actually remember to do that. Um, but just a little disclaimer. Um, this sketchbook is like my messy sketchbook. I, I keep two at any given time, um, one for like ideas and then one for my finished paintings. Um, and I do have sketchbook tours of sketchbooks that have my finished paintings in them. And that's what I do most of the time on this channel when I'm filming a sketchbook tour. But this is like a sloppy, junky kind of sketchbook. So hopefully that's your thing. Uh, so yeah, you're in the right, right place if that's something you want to watch. Back and forth between using my little phone holder and just like holding the phone because I feel like a lot of people film the sketchbook tours kind of like from way back here or further to get the whole sketchbook in the frame. I just like to see uh, like the stuff up close um, because otherwise you can't really appreciate, you know, the, I don't know, detail, if you will. <laughs> There's nothing too interesting on the cover. I literally just doodled all over it. Um, I didn't even bother decorating at all. Um, most of the time I do, even on my messy sketchbooks, but this time for whatever reason, I just took a ballpoint pen to it and sometimes like a paint marker or whatever I have. You can see right here the first date that I actually drew in here. So I started the sketchbook in November of 2022 and then I finished it up in May of 2023. This first page I really wanted to start off with a bang so clearly I did some like hand doodles, some little portrait practice, some buildings, a little teacup. You know, I was just having fun with colored pencils. Here we have a little Ahsoka doodle that I eventually painted. I actually filmed me um, painting this for like a potential like painting over my sketches video. Um, but I never ended up like finishing the video. I still have the footage saved on my laptop. So if you guys want to see that, I will finish that video and I can upload it for you guys. Uh, just let me know. And then this other guy over here, I'm not sure what he is. I don't draw a lot of like dudes and his face looks like it's sliding off. There's something weird with his like proportions too. And there's like a little, I don't know, like calico critter looking thing. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, but you know, here's another page where I'm just like really confused because up here it looks like we've got this like fairy and she's got kind of an awkward ballerina pose. And then we go down and her skirt is a mushroom. I could see myself taking some of my weirder ideas from here and turning them into paintings, but you know, nothing else too interesting is going on in this page. Just some clunky cubes and a rose. <laughs> Please don't judge me for what you're about to see. Um, I've had a hard time drawing deer over the years. I actually just recently learned how. So when you see this, don't laugh. Here are some other attempts on this page. As you can see, I just really wasn't getting it. Here's a random little character and some hands up there. This one kind of looks like a calf to me. I, I don't know why. I think it's the short, thick neck that's getting me. It's kind of like a strong, a strong looking little baby deer. Uh, too muscular to be a baby deer, I guess. Here's a concept I was playing around with. Um, I called her Snow Knight, like Snow White, but she has a sword. Um, which isn't like a super unique concept. And in light of how horrible the upcoming Disney live action remake looks, I pretty much immediately dropped this concept. Like, I was like, that, mm, I don't care. I don't care if Disney uses a concept that I, I feel like I came up with before they did. I care about the fact that it's going to be done so poorly that no one will ever be able to use that concept again. Like, no one will ever be able to make, like, a Snow White that's also, you know, capable of using a bow and arrow or a sword or whatever ever again without instantly thinking of the tragedy that Disney is is uh, putting forth in, what, 2025 or whenever it's been delayed to? Um, but you can see for her character, I thought about making her hair have kind of, like, 
uh, Ghibli kind of physics, like uh, it's how you tell her emotions. I don't know, I thought it was funny at the time. At this point, I was like pretty much committed to the idea of becoming a picture book illustrator and I still am. Here's my concept for like my version of Rapunzel. I don't like this face. Her eye is like on the side of her head. Like we need to move that forward a little bit. But anyway, I think she'd look really good in like some pastel or royal blue, like pastel green maybe, or royal blue. Um, I feel like that's something that's kind of underplayed. Also, I'm sure some of y'all can see these. These are just my desk guinea pigs. Um, they're leftovers from a project I did in the fall. They're just gonna hang out on my desk for a while. This is a study page. I have to block uh, this girl's rear end because I don't know if YouTube wants rear end hanging out. Um, but I'm pretty proud of these actually, even still. Although this girl, I have to say, it doesn't look like she has any weight resting on her feet. Um, I know how I'd fix that now, so I guess I'm not that proud of these. Ah, uh, this looks like art block. Um, I was trying to do some pose studies and things like that. And this messed up face. I tried to cover it with a mask and I'm like, there's no saving it. This one's pretty bad too. Although really it could be just that I don't like drawing guys like at all. This looks like more art block to me just because we've got all of my staples, like a lopsided, like weirdly proportioned arms, faces with very little shape or construction to them and lopsided Ahsoka. This is just another kind of like silly throwaway page, only I'm pretty sure I recorded this for the same painting over my sketches video that never became a thing. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Here are just some funky little pose practices. Um, I didn't really do as much practice at the time with poses as maybe I should have. And even now, I think I don't do enough, maybe even less than I was doing back when. Um, just because right now I'm in a lot of like uh, studio classes and so that's a lot of like bigger assignments um, and not a lot of like weird little sketches like this whereas back when I was working on the sketchbook I was in a lot of like regular college classes and I could just doodle while the professor was talking um, and that's when I got a lot of this done it's not that you know my studio courses aren't teaching me stuff it's just that this is the kind of practice that I, I really want to keep doing. So I, I have to learn how to make time for it, I think, with my new schedule. This, I believe, was a page that I did during one of my English classes. Um, I'm actually really happy with how I shaded this girl's hair. It's not really shading. It's more like, like a ombre looking thing. Her eyes, though, are like weirdly placed. Um, that's a mistake I make a lot, even still. Uh, I really like this face though. That's really cool. Um, and then up here I was just playing around with charcoal pencils. Um, they're smudging a lot as you can see because this is pretty thin paper so it rubs a lot. And I really should have sealed it but I didn't buy a sealant to go with my charcoal pencils. I'm actually really disappointed that this sketchbook got ruined by the charcoal pencil because I still think it's really pretty. Um, more faces, more art block. I think this was like my attempt at a self-portrait, almost. Um, and this concept did kind of almost get turned into a painting, just not exactly. But, yeah, some good stuff on this page and a whole lot of charcoal. This page was all figure studies. And apparently there is no reference for this pair of legs. Uh, I must have been pretty proud of those. Still, I still kind of think they look pretty good. Um, yeah, th I feel like this figure looks pretty nice too. Uh, this one's okay. I feel like this video is gonna be like really long, so I'm gonna try to speed through the pages that aren't very good, which obviously means not this one because it's guinea pigs. Um, this is Piggy, my first guinea pig. This is also Piggy, this is Piggy, this is Piggy. This is Millie. This looks like Millie, Piggy, 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 Piggy. Um, still Millie, Piggy, Piggy. Did I draw any Myrtles on this page? I don't think, I, I mean, that kind of looks like Myrtle, but she doesn't have her markings, I don't know. Maybe one of these is Myrtle 
because Millie and Myrtle are sisters, so they look almost exactly alike. One of these could be Myrtle, and I wouldn't know it now that it's like a year and a half later. This is of one of my OCs. Uh, maybe one day I'll actually like share my OCs with you guys. I only really draw them once in a while. Uh, this is also another OC, same OC as this one. Just a random little character, some poses. <laughs> I love my characters. I just don't draw them enough. And really, I only work on like the lore and world building um, when I'm like really bored and I really need to just draw for myself. Another one of my OCs. Over here, we've got some poses. Some, oh, she's kind of cute. I just want to pinch her little, little cheek. She's so cute. I don't like this face. So mixed feelings more wonky ahsokas because i just couldn't get her right i think i actually recorded painting these strawberries for my painting over my sketches video and then the rest of this page just has like some other face doodles and lots of guinea pigs she smells fear fear her i don't really know what i was thinking when i wrote that under guinea pigs but that's pretty funny i like this face more pose practice here i was just playing around with some graphite here's some like funny little ballpoint pen marker sketches more graphite there this is one of my ocs um you'll probably see me draw her a lot in the sketchbook the power was actually out when i sketched this um or maybe i was like waiting for the power to go out because i kind of figured it would from bad weather that sounds more familiar to me, but anyway. This is another one of my OCs. I haven't drawn her as much in this sketchbook. And here's some like funky little, wow, that's violent. Um, I don't like that one. And then here's some like thumbnailing I was doing for my picture book project, trying to figure out how to make book covers because that's like really intimidating. Here's more of that OC from the last page. I really like her Christmas tree hair. It's pretty fun. Um, some funky little sketches and mermaid figure drawings, if that makes sense. And apparently I wrote hello here. Not sure why. I think I was in the middle of rewatching Jujutsu Kaisen when I doodled this. It just kind of looks like, um, uh, what's his name? Oh my god. Uh, Itadori's hair. It just kind of looks like that to me. Um, and then here's like this random princess queen character. Um, I think I sketched her first in the marker and then went over it with the colored pencil. It looks pretty funny though. And here I was playing with some graphite again because I got a set from my aunt for my birthday and I wanted to try it out. I drew guinea pigs and hands and little flowers and this wonky face and this other wonky face. Actually, I kind of like that one. Uh, a Christmas stocking, uh, this face, and this is a marker and pen page. Looks like I was playing around with like a black brush marker and like a yellow brush marker. I don't know. And some kind of like ballpoint pen or micron or something. I really like all these eyes. Um, sometimes in my style I get stuck drawing one type of eye or another. Um, but really like all these eyes I consider to be like in my style. I just don't always draw them like this, you know, I should get back to like um, My kind of sketchy sketchy eye style <laughs> that I really enjoy um, But yeah, not much to say about this page. We are interrupting this regularly scheduled program to tell you to go check out my Etsy shop since fairies have overtaken my sketchbook and my life, my shop has become the ultimate fairy lover's dream. With products ranging from stickers, pins, and prints to original paintings, I've got it all. All of my stickers are printed on waterproof vinyl, and my prints are on high-quality, durable, matte photo paper. So if you're watching this video, there's probably a fairy that's perfect for you. Whether you're looking for stickers, prints, paintings, or pins, head to www.etsy.com slash shop slash studio. Oh, lots of swatches. This became a painting. This became a painting. Something a little different, though, I think. Um, both these are in one of my videos on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's my 
um, bad art habits video, but I can't remember for sure. I think I was having a rough drawing day here, so it's just lots of practice and warm up looking things. Some awkward faces and hands and legs. Those actually don't look terrible, but they don't look good either. Like, they're a little rough. Here's another throwaway page with this very, very awkward walking character. I actually really like this girl's face, and uh, this one, this one looks pretty good too. And I like this bird, even though he's not, he's not an actual well-drawn bird. Um, but yeah, not, not much else to say about this. I like this pomegranate. I think that's cool. I think I was in English class when I drew this, and we were reading Pride and Prejudice, so, um, she kind of looks like she could be out of that era. I don't know. She's got a rosary, though. She's pretty. Um, got some hands, some eyes, some confusing wings, <laughs> some very awkward faces. Um, this one is such a meme. He looks so weird. These two up here are just some, like, I don't know, practice drawing faces. And then down here, this is my OC Jinx. Um, I actually really like the way that I drew this face. It's really funky looking and uh, obviously she's crazy. Art block. I'm pretty sure I recorded this sketch, um, although I'm not sure what for. I, it might have been a monthly Kofi sketch video. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And then this kind of like girl with big hair uh, is something that I draw in a lot of my sketchbooks, like just a girl with big poofy hair that takes up the entire page. Yeah, that's something I draw a lot. I should really doodle on sticky notes more. I think this is so funny and cute. It looks like they stole a camera or something or are taking like a very quick selfie. I don't know, I feel like she probably stole it. I feel like they're both mermaids and she stole a camera and figured out how it worked, but she was like distract. I don't know. I, it's cute. I like these funny hands. Guinea pigs are always welcome. Um, this face is okay. This face is okay. I like this face. That's a funny- why are there shoes? And apparently I was confused too. I said, what are shoes? Um, and then over here, this is just like some fun texture play. Some glitter and it looks like I closed the sketchbook too early, so, uh, the page ripped, but whatever. Like, the glue wasn't dry before I closed it. Anyway, here's another sticky note doodle. Here's, like, a queen character design. Uh, random face, random hands, more glue. Nothing really to say here, except I like that face. This is another throwaway page that I don't really like. I'm like 80% sure this was for a sketch with me video. This is the other half of the spread that I did in that video. I'm pretty sure I was in the middle of like my Narnia obsession. Um, I'm like 80% sure this is Queen Susan. Um, just some more faces. This also looks like it could be Susan. Um, not really sure. I think she's just a girl in a pretty butterfly dress. I like this face too. She looks she looks very sweet. This is another OC of mine that you guys might never see more about, but I really love the gap between her teeth. And I really like her like long hair. I imagined her with like red hair. Um she she's really fun. I think she's a great character. And I, I gave her a little sister. I actually drew her in like a few different outfits. I think my favorite of the three is like this like training outfit looking thing. I just like the giant sweatpants. I think that's so funny. These are pretty awkward, but uh, you know, they were fun. Here's just some practice drawing faces. This was some concepting for my um, ceramics class. Uh, I had to make like an oval face thing. I think I went with something closer to this um, and my professor didn't want me to include the coral so I didn't. I kind of wish I had to be honest but whatever. Um, and then I practiced drawing feet. I don't want to get too good at it. The rest of this page I, I don't even want to talk about. It's such a mess. Here's some webbed hands and mermaids. Very cute, very cute. Here's a mermaid that's less cute. 
beware the deep and its monsters as usual you can barely read my handwriting here's another oc of mine and guinea pigs um faces i wonder what was so bad oh that i had to cover it up um here's more of my oc uh and more guinea pigs um yeah here's more faces I'm pretty sure that inspired my alien fairy piece, but um, I couldn't say for sure. She's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. I just want to boop her little nose. Ah, uh, yes. Art block again. Ahsoka and the, like, random guy. Here's some picture book planning. More picture book planning. So, um, I found a book at a local library about, like, Maurice Sendex art like if you don't know who that is he's the guy that made uh where the wild things are and one of his ways for coming up with stories uh was to play a song um and try to make a story finish out before the song is over so like he'd start doodling whatever comes to mind and it doesn't have to be good it could just be a story uh, and this was the result of that it's like this little girl who puts out candles that like i don't know like you can see here she's got like a little heart at her chest and I really like her design because she looks like a candle flame to me. Uh, I think that's really fun and I like her little boots. I'll show you um, the little story that I doodled. So she's just walking along, she comes across this candle, this like um, witch comes out and she realizes that she's been putting out people's souls. Uh, the witch takes advantage of her by stealing her heart, and finally the girl is capable of killing the witch. Um, so, there's the witch and the heart. Um, yeah, I thought, it, I thought it was a fun exercise. I didn't actually play music uh, while I was doing this. I think I had like a TV show on in the background, like The Office or something. I don't really remember. I've tried to like replicate this exercise because I'm so happy with this story. Um, like, I think it's so weird and fun, um, but, like, all my other ones have been weird, and I, I might have done more on the coming pages, and I'll show you those, um, yeah. So, my second one was a lot weirder, um, this one was about a baby that lives in a washing machine in a junkyard. He comes out, he's looking for food, he falls into a trash can, and then out of a trash can onto the street um or i guess into someone's laundry and he cries and then someone finds him and he has a home now and he's no longer the junkyard baby he's a happy baby i thought it was cute it's definitely weird though like it i don't know how he ended up in a junkyard i don't know how he's living independently um does he pay rent in that washing machine i don't know and then here's a wonk-eyed page <laughs> Um, with some Sailor Man references, which is good. Um, these little guys are for another story that's been bouncing around in my head for a little bit. They're like explorers or like exploration guides. Um, they don't really have names, but I envision two of them and they, their arms are like hidden underneath their cloaks and they've got like funny little pockets here and they've got these spindly legs and curly toes. I think it's funny. Um, especially since they have like such human like little faces like but they're pretty clearly not human and then i've got this elf character um i don't know where her clothes are at but you know okay so this is like definitely art block like i remember like giggling with my sister over this moon um and i drew like mr potato head but um it looks like he has warts so maybe it's like mr pickle head or something i don't know um but here's some like hands and arms uh, some funny figures, and this very tall bed. More art block doodles, lots of guinea pigs, and some faces. This is embarrassing just to show. Like, this is so bad. <laughs> Still art blocked. Um, but I'm pretty sure this one, uh, somehow worked its way into how I made my, uh, like, creepy girl with the pearl earring, like, painting um you can get prints of that piece on my shop if if you want to know the quickest way to to find that painting <laughs> um so yeah i i mean even though the sketch is very ugly i feel like it somehow influenced that 
This is another throwaway page. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I just skipped over two pages because they were straight up blank. Um, but here's another throwaway page. I actually kind of like this page. I think all the faces on it look decent, except for these two. They kind of suck. But these three look really nice. I, I like that one. Okay, I like that she, she looks like she's got like like very sassy personality. Um, I think I think he looks like like a nice fellow, uh, and I think she's very pretty. So these two though, I'm not sure what's going on, but well, I do know her her nose looks like it's not there, and uh, her her jawline has no structure. Here I was planning for some paintings. Um, this one became a much simpler painting. I think it was just like a headshot. Um, no background or anything and then this one became like a funny landscape painting with like a whole garden this one never became anything this looks like it might be holly and poppy o'hare from ever i'm not sure what this is but that's upsetting this looks like hera from star wars and mikasa from attack on titan this funky little city doodle this is a quote from the book of esther in the bible um, that I really love um, and it's a pretty significant quote in the book too because the book of Esther actually doesn't mention God by name he's just kind of in there like uh, like helping um, without without actually being named so this quote is like a big deal because you were made queen just for times like these like everything's with a purpose Ugh, it's so good if you haven't read it or watched like a breakdown of it you, you should because it's like this really interesting like murder mystery type thing there's like an assassination go anyway um here's some some heads and clearly I thought that was boring, so I added like colored pencil or, or crayon or whatever that is. Clearly I was going through art block or something because there's nothing good drawn on these pages. I just colored in the back. Um, clearly I was trying, but uninspired. Like look, I drew, I drew an environment. Looks like a bakery or something, I'm not really sure. I drew like a full figure and I drew a little face. Very wonky face, but it was still an attempt. So there's not really much going on on this page, but this little character design here um, is relevant because obviously I draw fairies and elves a lot, um, but this character I designed to be like a pixie, so she's a little bit more of like a troublemaker. Um, I, I'm not sure what world she fits into for, for my art or anything like that. But I think she's really fun and cute and something notable about the way that I design pixies is I want them to look like almost human, but something's like a little off, like they could pass for like uh, how elves are typically designed, like looking like humans but with pointy ears. But I want pixies to have like, I don't know, like bluish hues to their skin, like in the right light, I don't know. Um, something specific I thought it looked out was like this is gonna sound weird, but like blue gums. Like, <laughs> I wanted it to be something that like, you wouldn't notice at first if you were walking up to a pixie, but you would notice it after talking to them. And if that was too weird for you, um, here's a pretty normal sketchbook page. We've got Jinx from League of Legends, not my OC. Um, I, I don't play League of Legends and I've never watched Arcane, but the character design for Jinx from Arcane is just so interesting to me. I I love her hair. I love characters with like long braids. I think that's awesome. Here are just some fun little doodles. Throughout this sketchbook, I'd been like in and out of art blocks. So here's like frustration on a page, basically. <laughs> I actually really like this sketch. I think it's crayon or colored pencil. I can't really tell. I th that might be crayon. The glitter gives it away because I have glittery crayons. Um, here's another doodle and a little eye doodle. I think that's the glue. That I literally skipped over a blank page, but here's more doodles. Here's just a pen sketch with glitter on it. And on the other side is a very, very, very awkward sketch of one of my OCs and more OC sketches.
Oh my gosh, I was drawing my OCs a lot at this point. And yet, I don't really feel like super attached to them as characters. Like, I just draw them because they look cool or have fun personalities to think about. Here's more OC sketches. And here I was playing around with drawing over sticky notes. I don't even think I was correcting anything. These are just some pose practices. Some very wonky faces. Although I don't hate this one. This one's kind of cute. These are kind of fun. I sketched in marker and then went over them with ballpoint pen. Oh look, take a guess and see who's art blocked. Now I know I was art blocked because I just started gluing things in. Look, we've got packaging for candy. I don't know why I did that. Madoka Kaname, random mermaid sketch. Sabine Wren, Chopper, a funky little fairy face, uh, another funky face, some fairies, they're pretty cute, I, I like that hair, and I like this hair too, another elf, a uh, random girl, I, more random girls, mushrooms, and it looks like a calico critter or something. These were unused egg wraps for like an egg dyeing kit. Uh, here's a random face. I actually kind of want to paint this one. Um, there's nothing too interesting about it, but, you know, it might be fun. Um, this one's kind of interesting, too. Here's my OC, uh, CL. Um, I don't really draw her as much as I should. She's one of my, like, all-time favorite OCs. Um, I had her back when I used to try to make web comics online and she was by far my favorite character. I didn't really get very far into the comics so even if one were to dig back uh, through my digital footprint and find this comic, um, you wouldn't really get to see much of why I actually liked this character. But I, I love her design so much. Um, I th just think she's fabulous. Uh, and here's a funny little elf character random guy and some hands. Here's another one of my OCs. Here I drew my interpretation of Joan of Arc. She's got a rosary. Um, and here's me playing around with graphite again. Uh, I'm not really sure what she's supposed to be, but she, it looks like a high fantasy portrait type of thing. Some mermaids. I literally just skipped over a blank page, but this, this, this is the only thing on this page. That's it. And then here's some doodles of my picture book characters. Um, fun fact, he didn't have a name for most of when I was working on this, this picture book. Here's some very ugly artwork from my like most recent Sketch With Me vlog, uh, which was literally, when was this, like last summer? I don't even know, it's been so long. Here I was just doing some thumbnails for painting ideas, sketches. This page just has like some verses and prayer stuff um, and this cute elf with very long hair. And then here's just a fun little page. I had a lot of fun with this gold paint pen. Um, and this fairy is very pretty. I like this little house too. Here are some hands and faces. Faces and a fairy. I actually kind of still want to like paint this fairy. I I just think she's fun. And uh look at funky little faces. I'm not sure who this guy is, but apparently he hasn't slept for days. Um that's not healthy. Here's a elf who looks like her wig is slipping. Um another elf. I actually literally do not know what I was doing on this page. There's exactly one character drawn here and it looks like I mean, maybe I was trying to draw environments more. I don't know. This was a concept I had for like uh, three girls trying to blend in with the human world. I'm not sure if I imagine them as like mermaids or fairies or like some of each. I don't know, but I think they're really cute and I kind of want to bring them back. Um, I probably have more sketches of them in here. But for now, here's some like weird little concept sketches I had for paintings. I don't think I did all of these, but in some way, parts of them got used. Here's a very pretty mermaid and this fairy became my uh, fairy with green braids painting. I'm like 80% sure I was trying to plan a bigger painting with this. And this is the last page. It's just a little mermaid. 
um, and some swirls, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, actually, this is the last page. It's this weird, like, magical girl looking set of sketches. Like, I think I was trying to design a magical girl character or something. But anyway, that's just the vibe I get from this. But that's it for this whole sketchbook. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it probably turned out a little longer than usual, but this sketchbook is like pretty hefty and the pages are thin. So there was a lot in here, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe if you did and definitely um, definitely you know draw something cool today and check out the other sketchbook tours I have up on my channel if that's something that interests you um, I'll catch you guys next time bye real quick before I end the video I would like to give a shout out to my Kofi supporters so thank you so much to Ashley Savvy and Tiffany your guys support means the world to me and allows me to keep making videos like this one so if you would like to join my Kofi page be sure to check out the link in the description box for all these benefits and more